on guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're going on a little bit of a mission here. This is one of those missions where you just can't miss out on this mission. Um, and I'm kind of busy, but uh, I figured, hey, I can't pass up on this deal. I'm making a three and a half hour drive, which is probably the furthest I've ever driven for a set of parts, and a three hour and a half hour drive back. And, uh, but I figured I'd go today because we have a little break in the weather. I'm in Northern California. We got a lot of rain right now, pretty stormy. So that being said, uh, we are actually on our way to Bakersfield. Really, it's four hours. So I'm driving four hours for a set of parts. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, God, oh, come on, man. You guys get ridiculous every time. I'm driving further and further. But we are actually going to look at a 328i full M Sport. He has the front bumper, M Sport, M Sport rear bumper. M Sport headliner, M Sport steering wheel, M Sport door sills, and we're picking all those things up for 550, which is pretty insane. So I think if you do the math on all the parts, it's like two thousand dollars worth of parts if you were to resell them. Um, and that's pretty minimal prices. Like I think I said, the headliner was like 300, 400. Um, rear bumper, front bumper, rear bumper, both you know like 500 bucks a pop. And uh, which, what else? The steering wheel, at least 250, maybe more, depending on condition. And, uh, and oh, and the aluminum trim. So he has, a, he has a honeycomb, you know, the glacier silver honeycomb. We like to call it honeycomb, but it's really called glacier silver. CIC trim uh, interior, which is really rare. So uh, I, as you guys saw, we put the, C, we put the uh, LCI brushed aluminum set in 335i, but I've just been looking for a glacier for a while and this guy's selling so cheap that I'm just gonna buy this, sell my glacier silver or my interior trim for like, you know, 300 bucks, maybe 400, I don't know what it's worth, but it is LCI CIC, so uh, we'll sell that and we'll keep the glacier and uh, yeah. All right, we are now back home. Please ignore the mess. I'm gonna organize my garage. I just got it back from parting at the 540. So I have a lot of things to clean up, but I figured I'd still show you guys what we got anyways. And what we got is pretty insane. So I got my black E90 headliner, whole headliner, all the pieces, all the assemblies. I got this M Sport front bumper, E90. Pretty clean, pretty sick. Um, what else? We got the M Sport rear bumper. Um, and we got the Glacier interior trim set. Let me show you guys the pieces, two of the pieces, rear pieces here. So you guys can see, Glacier Silver. So I like to call this Honeycomb. I don't know what the real name of it is, but, uh, well, I mean, no, the real name is Glacier Silver. Um, I just know that if you look it up, sometimes they put up regular silver trims, and I know this is definitely not just a regular silver trim. I just don't know um, what its correct name. There's a part number there, but it doesn't say Glacier Silver. So it's just a Glacier Silver set. So that's insane. That's a very rare set. You guys, you and 90 guys know how rare that is. Um, very hard to find. M Sport front bumper, very hard to find. Let me fix this over Check here. Check that out. It's definitely muddy and a little beat up, but it doesn't matter to us because we're going to slap it, wrap it, slap it on our car. Also, it looks like we can use a new center grill here. I'm not sure how that got damaged, but again, it doesn't matter too much because I have everything else which I needed. So that's pretty sweet, pretty sweet. So yeah, that being said, all this, I paid 550. I'm still blown away. Um, I already pre-sold my interior trim because I'm putting the Glacier Silver in and I sold the uh, rear bumper to my brother-in-law. So I essentially, I essentially uh, sold, uh, I essentially got the front bumper, headliner, Glacier Silver trim, and the M Sport steering wheel for 50 bucks. For 50 bucks, which is, Blows my mind. I'm very grateful. Now this build is gonna be way more worth it because I overspent on the rear bumper. We paid 480, but uh, if you break that down now, 480 divided by two is around 240. So I'll say I paid 240 for this and 240 for the rear bumper, uh, 240 a piece. So because I paid 480 for just the rear, but since I got this for free technically or 50 bucks, but you know, free essentially, um, I'll say I paid 244, which is still not bad. 240 for the both um, sport bumpers. That's what we do. And we still have to sell our stock bumpers, which should bring the price down in my guy math, my car guy math. I don't I don't know if you guys look at it that way, but I do. So pretty sweet. Let me show you guys the steering wheel. And uh, pretty sweet. So let me show you guys the steering wheel too. 
while it's inside because I'm going to put that in now so I can sell the stock symbol. Oh, that's another thing. I might get 100 bucks back there. So let me uh, pull this all. Let me clean this up a little bit so we can start working on that car. But for now, let me show you the steering wheel. In between the last video and this video, um, this is a completely different car uh, based off what it looks like. Um, I know in the last video I posted, I think, was um, that we were just doing the rear bumper and I think the wheels. And some time has passed. I've had to go through a couple things and I've been extremely busy. So I had to do a lot of things behind the scenes. And unfortunately, I didn't get to film these. Um, the main thing being I had a, a daughter. So as you can imagine, the time I had to work on these, this car was far and a few in between so i didn't have a lot of time so every time i get a chance to work on it it was fast paced go do it as fast as i can so i can get back to taking care of my daughter and uh thankfully now things have settled down a little easier and i'm getting more spare time to uh, do these things film these projects and really just get them wrapped up i uh, work on the 540 right now but i figured i'd show you guys this car because i'm out of content on this and i'll show you what we've done so far and what we missed out on one of the obvious things you'll see here is our new headlights um i'm gonna do price breakdown at the end of the, the this series i guess you could say because we're actually into this thing very cheap i didn't expect to be into it this little but thankfully we are so it's kind of a blessing there and we're uh, not complaining and we're taking it day by day one little example is these two headlights as you can see here i have both headlights here um i got them off this guy who lives north of me they were underwater or something like that or they just had a little bit of condensation in them and he said, you know what, if you want both of them for 200 as is, he even had the lenses. And I was like, do they work? He's like, I haven't tested them. My assumption is he did, but he said he didn't test them. Because first he wanted to sell them after he fixed them. Then he hit me and said, hey, you want them? So I'm guessing he tested them and uh, they didn't work the way he wanted or something. So he sold them. So I bought them 200 bucks with the lenses. I did the lenses. I sold my stock headlights for 200 bucks. So free LCI upgrade, right? Of course, I don't factor in the work, but if you took in the work, it's not free, but since I do the work myself, free to me. No money in my pocket. 200 bucks for the sold the old ones, 200 bucks for these new lenses. And uh, the only downside was then I needed two modules, right? The corner modules didn't work and the adaptive modules didn't work. The halogen, the ballast modules did work actually, thankfully. So I went to, lo and behold, so I'm doing Stockton, selling the whole front end. I said, how much do you want for the hood, the headlights, and I think the trunk? And he was like, 200. So I was like, holy crap, you know, that's cheap. The headlights were worth 300 bucks alone. The trunk setups were 200 bucks, and the hood was worth at least 200 bucks. So, uh, you know, it was what three, four, five, six, seven. That was 700 dollars worth of parts for 200 dollars. So I bought them, took the modules out, sold the headlights for 200 bucks, missing the modules, and then um, sold the hood or I kept the hood. I bought another hood, but here I kept this hood, and uh, then um, sold the trunk. So I made a profit, got my modules for free, and got the hood for free which is pretty insane. Um, front bumper, you guys saw we picked it up in Bakersfield. I don't know what the price is at. It's a little chewed up at the bottom as you saw, but that's still worth 500 bucks all day. Uh, the M4 fronts are hard to find OEM. The rear, I sold it for I think 350 the next day. Um, the interior, the aluminum brushed aluminum we got, the one we built from pick and pull and the CIC piece, we ended up selling that for 300 bucks the next day as well little things like that we were just knocking them out so i haven't done the price breakdown but i think we're still into this thing like two grand which is pretty sweet because it's just where i wanted it in the sweet spot where i can build a sick car and be happy with the price i paid like now since we're into the so low i can do some of the bigger things like maybe find a sick interior i really want one of those red interiors um from the pre the lci e90s uh, the sport one those are hard to find there's somebody selling one in florida for like 1500 bucks but it's another 500 bucks shipping i can't bite that bullet yet um the other thing is the manual swap this is automatic my dream spec is lci manual m sport uh, uh, sedan i'll go more into that when we do a price breakdown we're almost done with this car for now i'll show you guys the things that we've missed out on or i missed, made you guys miss out on okay so we got m sport side skirts we got our m sport front bumper that you guys didn't see me put on you guys saw me buy it um we got our uh, LCI hood. I have two hoods right now. I bought one in Fresno for a hundred bucks. Um, LCI, 
scratched up where the dogs are jumping on it. This one is good condition. It just has two little dings in the center here, which I believe I can just get PDR'd, which I guess doesn't matter because I can wrap it. I just figured since I paid nothing for this hood, but I bought I bought two hoods, right? I bought this one from that guy in Stockton and the one in Fresno. Since I paid 100 bucks to the other one, I figured I'd swap them because I can still get the 100 bucks from that one. So it's just a better condition hood. Our LCI headlights, there's the side skirt missing there. This car now has BC coilovers um, and M3 lower control arms. So let me go under here and show you guys real quick. So we've been going ham. So here are our brand new M3 control arms as well as our BC coilovers. The M3 control arms are brand spanking new. Um, we actually ended up getting them from a parts car. We ended up getting the BCs for a car I bought for my brother. My brother needed a car and I said, okay, let's find you a car. And uh, I found one that was lowered on BC coilovers with $2,000 worth of OE, like OE FCP Euro parts of maintenance for the car. And he selling it for two grand because he couldn't get it to pass smog because of a O2 sensor or something like that. So I bought it, took the coilovers, put the stock shocks on that car. And then I put my stock control arms and my stock suspension on that car. My brother ended up not wanting it. I sold the car for profit. And then we got free BC coilovers, free M3 control arms. And uh, it's just, that's, I think the control arms alone, which are backward, are worth 400 bucks. And the BC coilovers are around a grand. So in total, that's $1,200 worth of parts for free, essentially. As well as, I think when I said, I went to, remember I went to Stockton, I got a trunk. As you can see here, I got, I just sold the scratch trunk and I took the mint trunk. So now we have a mint trunk, no need to do any body work there. Um... What else? I think I needed a right tail light because mine was a like pink because of the sun damage. I took that as well. So that car, we literally perfected that car and still made profit off of that. When we go to the interior, a lot has changed. We got our M Sport door sills. We got our honeycomb glacier trim. We now have CIC. I don't know if I showed you guys that. CIC, we have the CIC controller there. Um, I ended up having a mint one that I put in there. Um, our M Sport steering wheel, auto paddles. I'm probably gonna try to sell this sooner than later just to keep the money and try to get the manual one just because there's no way we're not getting a manual. Not only does this clunk a little bit, but when we do the turbos, I can imagine I'm gonna blow the transmission up. So I definitely need to start saving up for that manual swap and uh, figure out how we're gonna do that because this thing is uh, getting there day by day. We're knocking things out. Oh, our black headliner. I know guys, I'm sorry. We missed out on so many things, but like I said, I had a baby and I was stuck, you know, taking care of her. and. You know, it's can't, hard to convince your wife that your car stuff is more important than having a baby, which it isn't, but it's hard to get away. And when I did get a chance to get away, I had to scram. So we've been doing all this stuff behind the scenes and we're doing it as fast as we can, but we're getting it done. So yeah, I mean, I think at this point, I think any, nobody can argue with me. I think that we're done. This is a full 2000, no, okay, see, wrong. This is almost a 2011 M Sport clone. I don't have the C the LCI interior. If you you know E90 buffs know that the E90 LCI interior has different stitching, and then the rear seats have a little stitching up top as well. Until we get that, we won't be a true 2011 clone. But we're working towards it. And I think once I get the interior, there's not a single piece that won't be um, identical to 2011, which is pretty sweet because if at the end of the day like i said if we can do this for under two grand i think it's a banger deal and we will have completed the mission building a 2000, 2000 i say 2011 but really i want a 2010 because if you get a 2011 you get m55 and as you guys know i'm not a fan of m55 so yeah i'm just gonna give this thing a quick wash get that last side skirt installed and uh and give you guys a quick update as to where this car's you know heading All right, got our side skirt there. Last missing LCI piece. Let's go ahead and give this thing a quick wash and then unfortunately put it back where it goes because this thing still needs turbos.
just like that this car is nice and clean and uh i mean that's that that's the video i'm sorry if it wasn't as climatic as you guys thought it would be but uh unfortunately we had to do a lot without recording but the way the car is sitting now i think it looks great i love it just because i get in it and it's what i wanted to build you know i wanted a lci m sport sedan i think it looks sick let me know down below what you think um let me know if, if let me know if you think i'm missing anything i'm pretty sure as soon as i'm done with uh like i said the interior you can't tell this apart from a 2010 or 11 um obviously when you see this gray color this graphite sapphire i forgot what color it is when you see that color it screams pre-lci but as soon as we get rid of that i think nobody will be able to visually tell besides looking at the vin that uh, it's definitely not a 2010 or 11. so yeah as soon as we're done with this project here we'll have more time and we'll be able to pull this in the garage do the turbos do the alignment and start ripping this thing around and uh start doing things under the hood that being said thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one